I'm here uh, to present to you all the early results of the, this study that I would like to highlight that is a very important study because it's the uh, first study done by MSF on PrEP um, among a very uh, vulnerable at a high risk uh, of HIV population that is uh, female sex workers and men having sex with men. The study was done in Beira, capital city of Sofala province in Mozambique. Uh, PrEP is a prevention treatment that mostly uh, try to reduce the risk of infection of uh, HIV and uh, by taking daily a pill of tdf 3 tc as long as the person feel himself at risk of uh, getting infected. So is something like that is voluntary. This is very important to understand the, the study so far. Um, as I said, uh, we are in Mozambique and here uh, actually, MSF started in 2014, the Corridor Project, that was a, um, an outreach uh, uh, HIV project uh, uh, providing uh, um, uh, treatment and uh, testing for um, uh, female sex workers, men having sex with men, and long distance truck drivers at the truck stops along the corridor route uh, in, from Beira to Tete. Um, in order to strengthen the activity of the project, in 2016, MSF uh, thought uh, to start this pilot study, this pilot experience, in collaboration with uh, MOH, and to assess the acceptability, demand, and feasibility of PrEP among these two population of uh, uh, female sex workers and men having sex with men. The study design is a mix of needs of approach uh, with a prospective cohort study as a quantitative component and a qualitative component around um, among female sex workers. Because of the particular characteristic of this population, we thought uh, to run a convenience sampling. Um, in this slide, uh, I would like to show you uh, that one of the most important results and advantages we experienced so far is that uh, um, the recruiters were actually peer educators from MSF staff who actively uh, went in the communities and uh, talking about PrEP and inviting uh, uh, potential participants to participate in the study. Here we see uh, the flow of the activities in the field. And uh, once uh, people get interested in the, in, the, in the PrEP, they are actually getting screened and with uh, obviously some criteria of inclusion and exclusion. And the uh, qualitative study was uh, actually done, as I said, uh, among female sex workers. And we did uh, 31 in-deep interviews and two focus group discussion among peers and staff. About results, these are preliminary results, as I said. Uh, we um, can see here the basic characteristics at uh, enrollment of participants are that most of them are um, under 25 years old. And uh, with respect to nationality, um, among female sex workers, uh, we have a big proportion of Mozambican, but also a fifth of uh, those are uh, cross-border, majority of them coming from uh, Zimbabwe. Interesting is that also uh, among MSM, all of them are from Mozambique. I would like to show here the, the cascade and uh, we'd like to focus on this first uh, part of this slide that is one of the, our major fundings. Uh, actually, we see uh, high acceptability. You can see here screened, 78% acceptability and high demand among these, or 69% who actually get enrolled in the, in the study. Between these two steps, there were many reasons for not inclusion, and the uh, major of this was uh, actually not coming back. So we don't know actually what happened with these uh, participants. Even if at the start uh, we were very happy of this, 
Uh, after six months, uh, we uh, experienced some, some problems because the retention was very, uh, very low. And after six months, actually, uh, we had an active cohort of only 50%. This is the 36% of those enrolled. And this is due because of uh, mostly silent withdrawal. This is the main reason attributable. Uh, there were no uh, reason given to us uh, from the participant why they did not continue on prep. Uh, from data, qualitative data, um, even if among sex workers we um, registered the higher rates of dropout, interesting was that uh, once uh, they were interviewed and they understand the importance of prep, they actually feel themselves like uh, uh, stronger safety and like, uh, this is a quote here, that I am soldier with a gun, I can, I can fight against uh, HIV because HIV actually is everywhere. And here, uh, don't, don't be scared of this cube, uh, yes. Uh, I would like to uh, call your attention mostly on the retention by, just, by group. And we see that after six months, um, MSM were uh, more likely to be uh, retention, retained to prep more than a FMXS worker. Also, we saw a trend in increasing the risk of dropping out in the youngest participant. But uh, as you can see, these are unadjusted uh, uh, analysis. So we wait for the final analysis to see what is more important. Um, the major challenges of our participants once enrolled in PrEP were mostly uh, mobility. Uh, travel, planned or unplanned, was one of the main reasons for people interrupting PrEP. And this was uh, seen both uh, in cross borders and in Mozambican, because also among Mozambican participants, uh, they are very uh, mobile across provinces and across city trying to look in uh, where they can have a more uh, uh, economy uh, advantages. And also some participants um, experience and feel themselves that use of PrEP could be interpreted by others like they admit that they are engaged in an HIV risk behavior or that use of PrEP could be uh, interpreted by others like they are HIV positive. So uh, most of them say that in family, they didn't say anything because they fear to actually uh, put away from the family. So far, uh, the study has uh, some limitations. The first one is that there is no control group. The second one is that we had um, a selection bias since uh, uh, participants uh, were mostly enrolled from uh, uh, actually already uh, MSF clients. So this uh, could lead to a higher awareness of HIV uh, problems and, um, as compared to those who are not engaged in an HIV program, MSF or other programs. Um, about conclusions, I have to say that um, for us, so far, the high acceptability and demand of PrEP was one of the uh, very interesting results up to now. And, uh, but uh, that uh, retention is highly uh, um, depending on the mobility of these participants and eventually on age, since younger are more uh, likely to abandon. Also, we uh, experience that PrEP and B in uh, PrEP uh, is a motivation for participants to do tests and retest at a scheduled visit on uh, frequent uh, on basis um, for testing and retesting on HIV and uh, its, um, sexual transmitted infections. And these, as a programmatic result, as you may understand, is very important because we can eventually uh, refer this population once uh, seroconversion is happening to the um, HIV national program. 
And uh, this is uh, acknowledgement. And thank you so much. <laughs>